show. Cans and we wipe that road there on the left-hand side about a couple of sets of lights up past that footpath works and at the next just for the next timber section that's where we're staying for three nights. And right round here is what is the esplanade. Down on the esplanade, tides out. So, to get, it, get it to come back in sometime. The fire over there. So, nice looking results down there. Over here. We were gun. A little bit of rabbit shooting. I don't know what that is, but it's gardens so everywhere down here, flower gardens and, and there's a sting right here. Beautiful piece of art, isn't it? Oh it is, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Amazing pool down here on the stream. This place is absolutely amazing. Huh? As you can we'll come back and have a coffee there shortly. Must be the car park over there for the for the um, cruise boats. Absolutely amazing. Smoko. Yeah, still down the waterfront. Cairns, there's so much to see down here. Try not to wobble us too much. Haven't got one of those wobbly sticks. Uh, anyway, there's a shipping over here or some kind of cruise boat. I'm trying not to wobble too much and go this way. Hang on, maybe if I hold it against me. Let's get around to another part. Windy.
Ooh, you're a bit sneaky there. No, okay, bye. Okay. There's a turtle. No, 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 that's, that's Margaret. The turtle's over here. Oh, up there too. Okay. Hello, turtle. What's your name? Street of Cairns. Beautiful. There's trees. Look at this big tree up here in the shade on, in the corner. Um, we can either go next one or we go right. One or two. takes off from and goodies. He's had a nice coffee. No, looks like we have to go around this way. No, there's the sky rail going out there. <laughs> what? Gold Coast was my home for 20 years before I got here. Uh -huh. Did you, do you have a, do you have a three? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you, have you got mobile phone on you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Four. yeah, yeah. Do you have another one that's got like a, a bar in it or something or other that I could go by myself? <laughs> a bar by yourself? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, the train. <laughs> no, I don't know, I don't think so. Over in front of it. We're loaded up for memories. <laughs> okay, here you go. I'll see you up there, I'll get the next one. Yeah. <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> what do you think about that fine lady? You got a big black eye. Oh, oh yeah. that's a camera. Okay, so we're heading out. Look at the camera there. Hang on. Here we go. And we take off now and we're in and we're heading down the straight towards the first corner. Oh, whoa, 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 we hit a few rabbit holes. Gee, it's a bit rough. <laughs> oh. I get some new shocks. <laughs> oh, come back empty. The people fell out. <laughs> now, what do we got here? Oh, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's a little bit of water at him. Oh, wow. Yeah. But this is yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Any crocodiles? Some crocodiles. Most probably. Any crocodiles down here? <whistles> oh, that's a bird. Is that one down there? Look, way over there. That's a rubbish bin. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, you took some photos, though, so it's all right, I don't have to. What's this, a road? There's another one empty. The people must have fell out. Look, it's empty. Oh, there's a bird just flew over. This must be a good warning. Can you fly? Here we go. We're going up the straight. They'll come back empty. Yeah, they do come back empty. 
well, oh, yeah, but you can come back on them if you want. Oh, yeah, you can. But, but everybody must have fell out. empty ones coming back. Well, it just gets ran around. But look at the big spider oh, webs in there. Look if there's any gorillas down there. there. Oh, this mm -hmm. one. It's standing in the mm -hmm. square. <laughs> okay. What? <laughs> What's high? <laughs> Can you fly? Start flapping. Oh, thought it was going to break. <laughs> These are drone pictures, by the way. Mm -hmm. We get the drone to fly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to call the station. It's 4.8 kilometres to Grand. So we'll have a quick look. I won't do too much with that because I think it'll. Um, well, we've still got 95% battery left. Taking in 4K, so hopefully it'll all be good. I've got no idea where you're going. Oh, just these oh. <laughs> they're most probably quicker than us. You can move, it's a video. <laughs> There's no monkeys. No monkeys. Oh. Oh, that's You want to see the fabulous photo? I should have showed it on here, but it's packed away in a little black bag down there at the moment. So I'll show you after. They took us when we were in the in the cart, and uh, this is just after we've got off the sky lift thing. We're going into the village. Over and out. Yeah, yeah. Because that looks nice over there. Yeah. We're walking around Karanda. Do we eat healthy now then? <laughs> and what did you have? The same as you, oh. healthy food. <laughs> Just had some lunch here. Miranda. A lot of stuff here. Do you get market stuff, I don't think. I'm 
through here. Too bad if it's no good. I just was starting to walk back and I... Yeah. Well, this gentleman's into crystals also. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, you want to tell the story? No, I don't want well, to tell the story. You can well, tell the, the story. <laughs> In the pub, we didn't even go in it. Oh, anyway. Heading back to the train. Yeah, we to get down on the left. Mm. On our line, our line's here. Yeah. <laughs> Do we have to show you a ticket? I guess so.
steepest sections and the largest cutting along this line. This was the most difficult section for the workers to excavate. Men were suspended down by ropes to dig away the cutting. However, the rock face was unstable, and as the men made progress, the slope would slip and work would be lost. John Rob had his men dig well into the rock face until a solid foundation could be found. This created the distinctive scar that is a landmark today. Below us is the suburb of Kanaranga, where John Rob established his base camp. Mules and pack horses were used to carry supplies up steep slopes to the many work sites. Over time, the base camp became a bustling settlement. By 1888, it even had its own brewery, turning out over 2,000 gallons of ale a week. ...and provides a spectacular view of the famous Stone Creek Falls. As we approach the bridge, look to the left for a great... Oh, sorry. Yeah. Arrange with a whole bunch of those tunnels on that section there.